Heidi ho there my lovies welcome back to crazy but not dangerous I'm Shorty Vaughn and I am super excited about dinner tonight because I am hungry my belly is hitting my backbone and we are going to be having a great dinner tonight we're gonna be having great big salads yeah but they're gonna be special because they're gonna be a seafood salad yeah I'm gonna yeah we're gonna have the fish we're gonna have the fish I'm excited I am a person who could eat fish every single day you know if i wasn't worried about you know mercury and stuff like that but so yeah we're gonna have we're gonna have big seafood salads i'm gonna start off by making a terrific little dressing yay hooray come on let's get down to it let's make some dressing yippee skippy okay so what i want to do is try to combine andrew's favorite which with fish which is um tartar sauce and my favorite, which is cocktail sauce. Yeah, yeah, we, we are a house divided on a lot of things, but on the important things, we always come together. Like we both love mayonnaise. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to put about a cup of mayonnaise into this uh, measuring cup. I'm using a measuring cup just because you know it's clear and um, it's easy to pour from and uh, it's relatively easy to clean up so there we go we've got about a cup of mayonnaise in there yep I'm pretty happy with that what's new and exciting my lovelies what's going on with you today I've got some Dijon mustard and I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of the Dijon mustard in there. Got a little bit of lemon juice. And I'm gonna put about two tablespoons of lemon juice in there. I want it to be really bright and citrusy. Yes, please, and thank you. Got some Old Bay seasoning. I love Old Bay with seafood. I think, you know, it's like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, Old Bay and fish seafood yes please and thank you I'm gonna start off with one teaspoon but I reserve the right to add more later absolutely I can give this just a little syrup give it just a little syrup and see where we're going with it if I've made too much dressing I'm not worried about it because we'll put it in the refrigerator and maybe Andrew will use that on um, like a fish sandwich later on in the week or we might have a tuna and just go ahead and add this dressing to some tuna salad later on. I can dig it. I can get behind that. What have I done today? Oh boy. Um, dishes, laundry, and trash. Uh, ran around the house like a chicken with their head cut off trying to remember where I put some things. Yeah. Yeah, a little spacey, but that's okay. Found everything I was looking for. You know, it was right where I left it, but it was, of course, the last place I looked. I have some sweet pickle relish, and I'm going to add one, two large tablespoons of the sweet pickle relish in there. Oh, that's looking good. That's looking terrific. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of prepared cocktail sauce to this because that's what I like. I like that bite, that little bit of horseradish, the getting up a little bit of that chili sauce. Yes, please and thank you. And we may or may not add some more. I get this all incorporated and I've got my toothpicks here that's how I like to do my taste testing so I don't have to wash a million spoons oh okay we're getting there that's ooh, ooh, that's pretty good I like that you know what it could use you could use just a little bit more probably about one more tablespoon of that cocktail sauce A little bit of sugar so 
I'm going to add about two teaspoons of Splenda for me, sugar if you have it, if you can do it. Um, yeah, they're a one-to-one -one measure on that, so yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, ran around the house looking for something. I found it. Um, had to upload some documents to healthcare.gov for our insurance, and that went well, and my documents were accepted, and yes, please, and thank you. Oh, that's really nice. That's really nice. Okay. What it needs is a little bit of onion and a little bit of dill. Pick this fresh dill out of my garden and, you know, I'm trying to use it all up because our temperatures are just going up, 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 up. And as it gets hotter, yeah, that herb garden, it won't be doing much. It'll, it'll fizzle out and I'll miss it by time. Oh, let me tell you. The rosemary won't be fizzling out. I'll show you what I, I had to trim my rosemary bushes because they were overwhelming. And I'll show you the big bundle that I got. And I'm going to air dry it because it is just, it's too much for even, even my um, dehydrator. Yeah, it's a lot. So I'm going to just air dry it. Shouldn't take long out here in the desert with all of our, we haven't had rain in the weeks now. All right, so it just needs a little bit of onion. And there we go. Set that aside for something else. We do love onion. Yeah, I, it's just, yeah, an onion a day keeps the doctor away. That's just practical advice. I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on YouTube. But here we go. A little bit of onion. If you wanted this very fine, you could get your box grater out and you could do it on the, um, you know, the very smallest size. I am just going to give this a little tiny, yeah, just give it a few little horizontal slices, a few very thin vertical slices and then I'm just going to just give that a rough little chippity chop right there. I just want that essence of onion in there. I don't want it to be overwhelming, but I do want to I do want I do want to go to town on it. I want a little bit of that onion bite in there to go with that horseradish. Absolutely. So, thank you all for your lovely comments. I appreciate all of you like you would not believe. And it's good to be back in the kitchen. It's good to be cooking something. And I have had my fill of canned soup. Yep. Oh, I did. I went to the Walmart, um, I went to the Walmart website. And I put together a list of all of my canned good stock ups that I really wanted and um, looked at some things and what have you. So I don't know if we're going to do a Walmart pickup or if I'm going to go in and just use that as my grocery list. I haven't decided yet. But it, it kind of depends on the day and, and how I'm feeling and stuff like that. So get that onion in there. That's going to add a lot to the salad. I like to make my salad dressings ahead of time because then it has time for all those flavors to develop. And that's just fine with me. I am going to use... Yeah, I'm going to use just this little bit of the fresh dill. And then I'm going to save a little bit back to sprinkle on my salad. I love a little fresh herb on my salad. I think that's just lovely and delightful. Oh, my friend Kim, she came over yesterday. She's the one with the German Shepherd, the baby, the baby German Shepherd puppy, Max. Anyhow, she and Max came over yesterday to play with um, me and Pigpen. And we were out on the back patio and we were just drinking coffee 
and those dogs they ran around out there like yeah crazy lunatics max is great big and you know pigs he's about i don't know 14 pounds and you know full of spitfire anyhow max would go poke him in the head with his paw and then piggy would chase them and they were running around the tree and running around the garden and they were just maniacs out there and then Max goes over to the fountain and sticks his head under there and plays in the water and puts his paws in and he was soaking wet and then of course he comes over to where we're sitting to shake himself off because you know why wouldn't you want to share in the fun anyhow he has I love that little dog he has such a great fun personality he's going to be fantastic and she takes him to puppy training classes every week and uh, so there, he's learning a lot of things. He learned to sit, he learned to stay, he can lay down. Um, yeah, he's just learning and it's such a fun time with a new puppy and you know, Pigpen, well, he can, he can sit and he can stay and uh, he can beg for yum yums and look pitiful. Those, those are the things that he excels at, but uh, yeah. Yeah, he's also, you know, 14 pounds, so if need be, I just pick him up and, you know, take him to wherever he needs to be, or he's easily, you know, contained in his little carrier or what have you, whatever you need. That dill is going to just add a great fresh element to this dressing. Yeah, okay, all right, that's, that's looking pretty good. Oops, okay, well, I spilled. Shame on me. That's why that, I, I mop almost every single day. I spill all the time. No problem. Let's go ahead and give this a taste up and see what, if anything, it might need. Ooh, that's got zing. And it is creamy. And it has a little bit of that bite of that horseradish. I would add more if I wasn't going to be sharing this with Andrew. But I think it could use... I think it could use just a little tiny bit of pepper. And just a skosh of salt. I'm not sure how much a skosh is. I think that'll do it. I think that'll do it because there's salt in that relish. There's a little bit of salt in the cocktail sauce. There's a little bit of salt in my mayonnaise. So I don't want to overdo it. All right, one more taste. We're out there. There. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's gonna be delicious on our salad. Yippee, skippy, hot diggity! I can't hardly wait. All right, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. I want this to um, mix and mingle, you know, like a 70s dance party. It's going to do the hustle. Do any of you remember the hustle? Yeah, I love to hustle. Maybe maybe we'll do it one day. Maybe we'll do it one day. We'll have a, a 70s dance party. Staying alive, staying alive. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the refrigerator and get this going and then I'm gonna clean up my mess. We'll be back and, you know, cut up some vegetables and fun stuff like that. I wanted to add some shrimp to my salad. Um, and I didn't want to, because I just wanted a few. I just wanted a little bit, just about a cup. And I have these Easy Peel um, shell on, tail on, but they are deveined 5160 shrimps. I found these in my freezer um, towards the bottom. So we gotta move these on along. They are um, delicious still, but not long for this world. So I took about a cup of the Easy Peel shrimp. I put them in this, um, it's a ceramic bowl. And then I um, covered them with water, two teaspoons of the Old Bay seasoning, and I put them in my microwave for eight minutes and it kept my eagle eye on them because I wasn't sure. 
wanted to try something new, wanted to see what would happen. So I put them in my microwave for eight minutes. Of course, every microwave is different. And um, they came out perfectly. So they are all cooked in there. I drained them off and then ran them under cold water and de uh, took the shell and the tail off of all, all of them. But yeah, I just blasted those in my microwave for eight minutes. And I can tell you that they have plenty of give to them. They are fully cooked, still smell terrific. I might have had a little taste test. Um, but they are not rubbery, not one bit. And so, yeah, that's going to be my new preferred method of quick cooking some still frozen shrimps. I didn't have to thaw them. Yeah, I just put them in some water, went ahead and blasted them in my microwave. That worked out great. They're really tasty. And I don't know why I bought 5160 shrimps. This is not the size that I usually prefer, but they must have been one heck of a bargain. That's all I can tell you. So then I've gone ahead and just put these in my refrigerator to stay nice and fresh until we're ready to get all of our stuff onto our salads. Yes, please, and thank you. Oh, I might I might have to have another taste test. Yeah, just quality assurance. Absolutely. All right, I am gonna green up these salads. I have a little tiny bit, and I mean it is just a smidge of this Signature Select Garden Salad Kit. This was something that Andrew picked up last week and I'm gonna go ahead and just divvy that out. I wanna move this on along. Here we go. Like I said, it wasn't much, but I small and I paid for it. And I have a little tiny bit of last week's romaine. It's looking a little bit puny, but we're gonna use it anyhow. Yay, hooray. I wish I had some spinach, but I forgot. I forgot to put it on the list. So. We're only making two salads tonight. Melissa's not staying for dinner. She's got plans with friends, so she's going to go out and live her life. We are going to, um, yeah, we're going to watch Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune, and then we're going to watch Closer and Major Crimes because Andrew's addicted to it. Yeah, do you get hooked on TV shows? What shows are you watching right now? Tell me down below. What else are we going to, oh, and after that, we are working a puzzle. We love puzzles, and we're working this puzzle. It is very challenging. So it's uh, Murder at the Cafe. So you read this little story, it's about 32 pages long, and it gives you all the backstory of the murder. You solve the puzzle to, you know, solve the crime, and um, there's no there's no reference photo. There's nothing to look at and look at your pieces, and you know, yeah, you're just flying by the seat of your pants. And, and it's really fun, but it is really, really challenging. So we're working on that puzzle, and we've been working it on working on it. it's a thousand piece puzzle none of the pieces are quite the same they're all a little bit different so it is really challenging but you know it helps us helps us stay uh you know sharp that's the theory anyhow yeah gotta stay sharp so yeah, we're working on that puzzle, so we'll get a little bit done before we go to bed. And it's Friday night, so, you know, we're staying up late. Absolutely. This, uh, this romaine was already washed, so, yeah, not worried about that one bit. Already washed. Sometimes, you know, I give it a gander, give it the old eagle eye. If it doesn't, if it looks like it's a little bit sketchy, I'll go ahead and wash it again. But I'll tell you what's funny is that while I wasn't feeling good, uh, Melissa and Andrew, they were helping me out and they didn't know about washing the fruits and vegetables. So they brought me a, pre a few grapes one day. These grapes taste a little odd. 
they're a little funny. What's going on here? And uh, interesting. Well, I don't know. We just got them. We just got them and opened up the bag, and and there you go. Like you didn't wash the grapes, man. Nope, nope. They didn't think about it. So, yeah, we we uh, had a conversation about washing fruits and vegetables. You know, he doesn't know. He just doesn't know. He's a good helper, but you know. I've been taking care of him for so many years. There are things that he just does not know. So, yep, good. We're working on a puzzle. It's really fun. Um, you know, he tells me, I'm looking for a piece that kind of looks like a boot or it kind of looks like Italy. And, um, you know, it's black with a streak of blue through it. And if you find it, I'm like, yeah, baby, I got my eyes open. And I'll find his pieces and oh thank you and he'll find something for me and we yeah we help each other out doing the puzzle i'm going to go ahead and put this little bit of dill onto these salads too to add to my greens that's going to be a lovely little bite in there so do y'all work puzzles do you got a favorite my mother loved to work puzzles and one of the most challenging puzzles that i ever worked with that woman god bless her was this huge round puzzle it was 5,000 pieces and it was a doll collection. And it was so much hair. Yeah, blonde hair, black hair, red hair, auburn, you know, all the colors and all these dolls and these fancy getups and what have you. Anyhow, I think it took us almost maybe like two and a half months on and off working on it to do this puzzle. And, and uh, yeah, it was, um, my mom, my sister Patty, and uh, myself, and we were we were working this puzzle. And Patty was great at puzzles. She she really enjoyed them. And yep, Patty is second from the oldest. And uh, yeah, she passed away during COVID. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle these herbs on here that's going to be just a fresh little delicious tasty bite yes please and thank you yeah i like to green my salads because i kind of like to do things in you know stages and if i get tired then i go sit down for a little while so it doesn't feel so overwhelming um but yeah, that little bit of dill, that's going to be just the thing, just the ticket, baby. I have a nice tomato, and I have a little tiny bit of my English cucumber. I forgot to buy another one when I was at the grocery store. Shame on me. So, we aren't going to have probably any cucumber this week, unless somebody's going to the store and they want to pick it up. Because I'm not going back. Well, you know what? I might get one over at Walmart when I go to pick up my canned goods, maybe. Yeah, that's a possibility. We'll see how much money I have left in my budget. That's one thing about being under budget. If I forget something, there is room for a little pickup. I'm going to put these cucumbers and all of my wet ingredients right around the edge of the salad so that I'm not getting a soggy mess in here. And... Fantastic. I'll do the same thing with my Roma tomato. I'm just going to go get that little chippity chop. This one's nice and firm, perfect for a salad. And I like a big salad. I like a really big salad. I think that it's very filling and refreshing and completely delightful. Absolutely. Oops. Don't want to shortchange Andrew on his tomatoes. He'll be counting, you know it. Okay, and a little tomato for me. And I'm really glad that I didn't put too much salt into that salad dressing because I did do a taste test um, with one of those little baby shrimps and because of the saltiness of that seafood, 
I think that if I had added any more of the salt to it, that it may actually have been too salty. So yeah, restraint. Sometimes it's hard for me, but uh, that that's gonna be super terrific. I got some extra spoons out for making my dressing because it sometimes seems like I don't have enough spoons or what have you. I'm making a mess, look at this. So, can I just go ahead and make sure that those stay nice and clean and get back into the drawer. Limit the number, limit the amount of trash that I have to pick up. This lettuce is just sticking to that oven. Okay, there we go. Let's give this a little wipe up here and keep on making a salad. I have some whole sweet petite pickles and I think those are gonna be delicious in here too. Yes, please and thank you. Someone was putting my um, my utensils away and I can't find my, um, my long tweezers and I, I gotta find those puppies. But I was grateful for the help. Now I just gotta get everything put back where I want it. Poor Andrew. He thinks that every time I move something in this kitchen, that he's in trouble. He, Did I do something wrong? I'm like, no, baby, what, what do you think? He's like, well, because things were moved around in the kitchen, and now I can't find anything. And so this, I think that's funny. And, and yeah, he's, he's lived here for 22 years, and he still doesn't know where things are. But, uh, yeah, they did it to me. They, they moved some things around on me, so we're... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them back where I want them. God bless them. They're good helpers though. All right, so I just chopped up some pickles and let's go ahead and around the edge of my plate. Capers would be great in here too. Olives, you know, something a little bit briny because I think that just goes with fish and seafood so well, so. Just a little bit briny. I think these little sweet pickles are gonna be just the thing. All right, that's looking good. That's looking fantastic so far. I'm gonna put these in the refrigerator because we're not quite ready for the finishing touches yet. Andrew is over at his friend's house helping him with a few projects. They're getting some stuff done. And so, yeah, he's not gonna be home probably for about oh, another hour. So I'm going to go ahead and park these in the refrigerator. I'm going to take a little rest on the couch. I might have a little siesta. And uh, then we're going to get the rest of this going. We're going to get the, the seafood and the dressing on here. I've got those little shrimps. And then I'm going to also throw those calamari, um, one of those calamari packets that I got um, in my grocery haul yesterday. Going to get those into the toaster oven to crisp up because I love a little hot protein on my salad. Yeah, and last week we had one of these salads with crab cakes on it. Let me tell you, that was spectacular. All right, gonna get these in the fridge. I'll be back in a minute. All right, so I've got a little baking dish. I've got my toaster oven preheating to 425 degrees. And I have these calamari rings that are frozen. I got those over at my Albertsons. They were on sale for $5. Yes, please and thank you. We love calamari. And these are going to be very quick. They cook in about 12 to 15 minutes. And so I've got some just splayed out here in this baking dish. I'm going to give them a little tiny bit of olive oil just so that they are their most crispy and delicious self pop these in the toaster oven we're almost ready for dinner and i'm ready i'm starving yeah andrew he just got home from his friend's house and he's starving too he's like go ahead get this dinner going we, we gotta get this party started baby anyhow yay hooray
big old bunch of rosemary that I trimmed off the bush and it's already started to dry and it is super fragrant and oh yeah that's great anyhow just had that hanging up outside just bundled it together with a little rubber band that I got off the asparagus so yeah that's gonna dry that's gonna be delightful I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet but the possibilities are endless and the bush looks a lot better too I also made myself a little arrangement of rosemary for here in the kitchen. It's very informal in this little mason jar. So I just thought that that would be, oh yeah, the smells, it's got them all. While I was outside, I went ahead and grabbed a little green onion for our salad. I think that's going to be delicious and gave that a good little wash up. I got to find some scissors. I'm just going to go ahead and add some of that green onion to it. They are really getting big and a couple of them are already blooming. The green onions, they have like these little um, balls on the top, these little uh, puff balls and just full of seeds. So I'm letting some of them go to seed. I'm going to collect some of those up and see if I can get some more started. Yes, please and thank you, but a little bit of that green onion will just be delicious in that salad. Okay, here we go. We've got my shrimps, my microwave shrimps, and just divide those evenly between the two salads. Yeah, because Andrew will count. Wants to make sure he's getting his fair share in. So, this is going to have plenty of protein in it and plenty of yum yums that dressing that is just that's just the cherry on top i love that uh, my toaster oven's just ticking away with our um calamari i love calamari it's one of my favorites and getting it on sale well that's just a bonus absolutely and a little hot protein on top of these salads. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it should go, but really it is just an absolute treat. So make sure we're getting as many of these little shrimps. Well, you know what? There are quite a bit of shrimps in here and I still have more than half of a bag. I think that that's looking good, just like it is. Um, those shrimps smell actually really good and really fresh. So. I'm really excited. My calamari's got about five more minutes left in it. Gonna put those on top. Gonna get these all dressed up and then we're gonna get down to it, baby. Hot diggity. Okay, so we are almost there. I am gonna go ahead and dress these salads. And this dressing is super yummy. I'm excited about it. There we go, that should be plenty. And I am definitely gonna have leftover um, dressing for a tuna salad tomorrow or maybe the next day. Yeah, I'll just put it in a little mason jar and just save that and it will be fine and dandy. There we go, plenty of dressing. I'm gonna grab those calamaris and get those on, that's the last that's it, we're almost there. Okay, those are out of the oven and they are crispy and delicious. Ready for prime time. Yes, please and thank you. Okay, I'm just gonna sprinkle those all on top. All right, there we go. We are ready for dinner. Yippee skippy. I think that that looks amazing. That's, oh, smells good. Yay, hooray. All right, my lovelies. Well, we're having a little seafood salad for dinner tonight. A nice uh, fresh squeeze of lemon would be just the cherry on top. Be good, be careful, look both ways. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous. Bye now.